Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to give you guys just a progress update with where I'm at for basically solo self found. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pop up my atlas for you guys. Now I do have this tier 15 Harbinger beachhead. Um, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna clear basically the beachhead except for the middle part with the Caustic Air character, and then I'm gonna show you guys the Totem Bro for the middle part since he's like a lot slower to walk, so I figured it would be better this way. So here we go, let's go ahead and test it out. Unfortunately, I don't have any tier 16 maps. I was trying to save the beachhead for tier 16s, but um, so I can get like good return. Since I have guardians like around here, I figured maybe I'll do the beachhead and get these maps as return, and then I can go do like a red elder. Um, so here we go. It's been a last time I did a beachhead was RF Berserker. I am 93%. Let's see how this goes. Oh, that's right. You're supposed to go this way, and then you have, like, the ramp. Oh, my God. I completely forgot, like, how you're supposed to run this map. Maybe I'll just go backwards. Is this side clear yet? Let's see. Did I clear everything? I don't think I cleared everything. I'm going to go back up here. No, I didn't. I forgot. This map is, like, huge. Meat grinder. Alright. Let's start. Let's go the normal way. Pretty Just sure you're supposed to go to catch my breath. this way. I'm very excited to get some map return. I think it's like impossible to not get map return off a of beachhead. It makes me wonder too because I remember how everyone like was talking poo poo about Harbinger. I mean to be fair even I talked a bit of poo poo on Harbinger when it first came out but look at that! Now that I think about it, I think Harbinger was a really good league. I agree that maybe mapping was like too easy maybe, there wasn't enough like risk or not risk but there wasn't enough grind or you know everyone could do it but now that i see the way a harbinger has been integrated when you find like an orb of horizon or a harbinger orb you're just like oh my god fuck at least for solo cell bound it's like the biggest difference in the world if you have a shaper stronghold on one tier 14 but you don't have it you could orb of horizon another tier 14 into that like that map for example which could save you potentially hours on trying to find that map Same as Bestiary. I feel that Bestiary, though, kind of fucked up a lot. Like, they... They really messed up with the whole Pokemon training system. In my opinion. Like, I think that Bestiary has a lot of potential, and I think that the item, the item rewards, like, the aspects are really good. I just don't like the whole, like... You find a red beast every 75 maps, and if you're playing a necromancer and you just accidentally offering the corpse, then well, see you in another 50 maps, my friend. I just think that if they like looked at beast theory, spent like you know a decent amount of time and tried to like fix it, it would be an insane leap. Because right now we have the beast theory rewards without the beast theory leap. And nobody's complaining, right? So, because <laughs> we have uh, we have uh, reliquary items, which brings me to Legacy League. I did not like Legacy League. I thought Legacy was a good filler, but I did not like League Stones. I liked everything else. I did not like the League Stones. I think the hunt for like a time time reliquary key is awesome. Like how do we have it in this league? The chance of finding that key is like so rare, and it can give you like some of the most insane stuff in the game to like complete poo poo. I think that's cool. I think when you're playing a game like Path of Exile, which is built around grinding, it's really important to have some type of incentive at all times, you know? If you're ping-ponging your shape or an elder, you're not getting good XP, you want you want to be able to find something still. And don't get me wrong, you always can. 
but having like a just a big fat drop like that just makes it so much more enjoyable. Can I even hold this still? I can. I don't remember what gives more XP, the middle or the other part, and I think this is the middle over here, actually. It's the end. The end does it. The end, dude, I, I miss playing RF Berserker and just being there with like a Guardian support and a Necromancer support and just ball cycloning the entire time. You know, I didn't think that was going to hit that hard. I was clearly incorrect about my assumption. <coughs> Alright, let's see how Mr. Zugzug Zug Boom Boom does against D15 Beachhead. Go get him, buddy. Go get him. So I don't have Sockwave Totems yet, but I do have Shockwave Totems, so... Oh, dude, they're mad. This is what I need my reverse knockback gloves for, though. They're gonna be fine. They're gonna have no trouble clearing this at all. Let's see, we're 7%. Look at their sustain, man. Like, I think, do totems benefit from Consecrated Ground? <laughs> I think they, look, look at his, look at that sustain, like, what? Come on, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, uh, well, they're not considered minions, actually. They're just totems. But I think they do benefit from Consecrated Ground. Didn't they say we're not supposed to get loot during this phase, or am I, like, not intelligent? Oh, is this the boss? Or is this just a big guy? Ow. Yeah, I think plus one totem rares would be way too strong, and they would make Hierophant a lot less strong, and they would make Chieftain a lot more strong. Chieftain and Champion totem builds. That's a thing? Okay, well. Well, uh, so anyway, YouTube, I hope you guys are having a wonderful time. 
Uh, I'm not ready to end the video yet. I just figured I'd talk to you guys for a little bit while I pick up this loot. Um, so I'm so far pretty happy with Mr. Shockwave Totem, bro. We're still trying to find a shaped weapon for him. Uh, I've been pretty much ping-ponging like these maps like back and forth, trying to get uh, the shaped one-handed scepter, item level 75 plus. Somehow between this guy being level 92 and my other guy about to be 94, I still haven't found one. I also have five tabs of shaped items. I don't even know how that's possible. Although to be fair, I just actually completed burial chambers today as well. So, you know, Solo Cell Phone definitely has some really interesting restrictions it likes to impose on you sometimes. I like how the Archon Kite Shield is here, but it's actually like, like all the way over there. So what do you think we're going to get from this, huh? If I get like seven Orbs of Horizon, I'm going to be so happy. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Give me like seven Orbs of Horizon. Why are Transmutation Shards even on my filter? Why are Transmutation Shards even a thing? Wait, I can't pick it up because it's... It's, it's right here, I just can't, I can't see it, but it's right here. Aha! Can't scam me, GGG, I've been playing this game for too long. How many orbs of horizon? Five. That's pretty good. Oh, but plus the ones on the previous character as well, so. That's true. Alright, we'll just finish the rest of this with Mr. Suck Suck Totem. Exalted orb. An exhilarating sensation of it. Yeah, so beachheads. I uh, totally recommend beachheads if you can find them. Uh, they may be a little bit hard to come by, but. Uh, I highly recommend the beachheads, they're very good. I guess this guy doesn't technically clear that slow, it's just when you have maps like this that are so open, I feel without the reverse knockback it like really is a pain in the ass because there's just so much room to knock him around. Dude, I like Tarbinger League, man. I It was so relaxing. I guess maybe that's why I liked it, because it didn't feel like I was pressured to go fight a boss and get one shot to test out the content. <laughs> Melatonin. I cannot do this yet. You can do it, and you will do it. That mob just desynced. I saw it. Are these level 20 yet? Oh my god, they're level 15. We got a long way to go, boys. I cannot carry this. You couldn't carry an orb of chance? Alright, so better say like 10 mobs remaining by the time I'm done killing like this pack here. Oh, is this a Harbinger pack? I think, oh, there's a Harbinger pack here. Perfect. Yep, we're good. This is the last pack. An orb of immense power. And a master? Oh man, this is beautiful. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Very nice. Alright, that pretty much clears it. What's this opal scepter over here? Very poo-poo. So we ended up... How many maps did I get? Let's take a look at that. We got uh, 
Crimson Temple tier 14, Ghetto tier 13, Dig tier 14, and Ballistica tier 15. Which is really good because, let's take a look here. So this is Enslaver, which is this one. I already have Crimson Temple, which I have two of now. So all I need to do is find Palace and Caldera. Technically, I could roll this Dig to become a Palace. So I, there's a chance I may be fighting Red Tier Elder today, so that's pretty cool. Alright then, YouTube. I hope you guys had a wonderful time. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Let I just wanted to keep you guys updated with what's going on. I don't want the YouTube to run dry, you know? So, um, let me know if you guys want see, me to create see. any content on what you see. Remember, this is SSF, though, so I am limited by, for example, what drops instead of... Oh, yeah, I forgot they put shards up here! So smart, dude. So smart. Uh, I am limited to what drops. I can't just go in Trade League and just buy it and be like, alright guys, here you go. Um, yeah, that's pretty much about it. I'm still gonna attempt to go for Guardians and Shaper, specifically with Shockwave Totem Brusky, because that's what he's designed for. He's designed to just have fun on bosses. So, have a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Have a wonderful time, everybody.